My younger daughter Amber used to say her dad was in the yarden, her very own contraction of the words yard and garden. I still spend a lot of time in my yarden. Hi, I'm Joe Weinstein, and I'd like to share with you my patio paradise fountain garden. I've been working on this garden for two years. While it's filled with whimsy, it's also a hopeful prayer for our blue marble or blue ball shaped home, planet Earth. Come with me and tour the garden. As we drive by, you see the fountains on the perimeter, ones you don't need an appointment to see in person. Driver walk by anytime. Each fountain has a story. Right now, there are 17 of them, so we'll move right along. A heart fountain, an infinity fountain with arches, my St. Francis fountain with adjacent lily ponds. Our wrought iron fire pit is laser cut with images of sea life. An inexpensive blue beach ball looks great day or night. Our boat planter and a favorite poem entitled, I Say It Touches Us by the Reverend Marnie Harmony. A three-piece fountain. A lily pond planted with a blue dauben lily. A harmony fountain. A tranquility fountain. The shapes fountain. My contemporary geometric shape. The 360 infinity fountain from the back. A heart fountain with ledges raised to create a bird bath fountain. A heart fountain with a dolphin. An underwater light gives the look of a flickering candle at night. Very cool. A heart fountain with two planters. My cloud forest fountain. In Spanish, Bosque de Nubes. It's inspired by a trip to Costa Rica in 1989. It has 100 hours of vitreous glass mosaic inlay. Below, a miniature sand boil. A harmony fountain with mosaics I named Flights of Fancy. A clamshell fountain. The rose fountain. A small charcoal fountain I made in 1993. The wave fountain. Now let's take a quick run through in the garden at night. As we listen to a reading of I Say It Touches Us, read by the Reverend Marnie Harmony, its author. I Say It Touches Us, by Marnie Harmony, Minister, First Unitarian Church of Orlando, Florida. I say that it touches us that our blood is seawater and our tears are salt that the seed of our bodies is scarcely different from the same cells in a seaweed, and that the stuff of our bones is like the coral. I say that the tide rolls in on us, whether we like it or no, and the sands of time keep running their intended course. I say that we have to go down into the wave's trough to find ourselves and then ride her swell until we can see beyond ourselves into our neighbor's eye. I say that we shall never leave the harbor if we do not hoist the sail. I say that we have got to walk the waves as well as solid ground. I say that anyone who goes without consciousness of this will remain chained to a rusty anchor. May the journey find us worthy. Amen. I'd love to show you my fountain garden in person. You can commission a fountain similar to any you've seen here, or I can visit you and design a patio paradise fountain just for you. Thanks.